In June 2004, astronomers peered into the night sky and discovered something that would send shockwaves through the scientific community. It wasn't just another asteroid, it was a potential Earth killer, a massive dark rock, roughly 370 meters wide, on a trajectory dangerously close to our planet. They named it Apophis, after the ancient Egyptian god of chaos. And chaos is exactly what it stirred. Apophis officially known as 99,942, Apophis is part of the Atone group of near-Earth asteroids. These are space rocks with orbits that closely align with Earth's, measuring more than 1,200 feet in diameter. Apophis is as long as three football fields laid into end. If it ever struck Earth, the results would be catastrophic, not extinctional level, but enough to destroy entire cities, countries, and everything in between. What truly made Apophis terrifying wasn't just its size, it was the data. Shortly after its discovery, calculations suggested a 2.7% chance that it could hit Earth on April 13, 2029. In cosmic terms, that's staggeringly high. This figure earned it a level 4 rating on the Torino Impact Scale, the highest score ever given to any asteroid at the time. The world took notice. Headlines warned of the end of days. Scientists scrambled to refine the numbers and the date April 13th, 2029 became etched into the public imagination. An asteroid the size of a skyscraper, possibly on a collision course with Earth, just 25 years away. The panic wasn't just media hype, it was rooted in real scientific concern. But what made 2029 so alarming was, in T, just the potential for impact. It was how close Apophis would actually come. On that day, the asteroid will pass just 31,000 kilometers or 19,000 miles from Earth. That's closer than many of our own satellites. So close, in fact, that it will be visible to the naked eye from parts of Europe, Africa, and Asia. This isn't just close, it's historic. Never before has an asteroid of this size passed so near to Earth without impacting it. And because of this proximity, scientists worried about something called a gravitational keyhole. If Apophis passed through this tiny region of space, Earth's gravity could alter its orbit just enough to cause a collision in the next flyby, possibly in 2036 or 2068. NASA and the European Space Agency quickly prioritized Apophis as a top-tracked object. Using powerful radar systems like the Goldstone Deep Space Network, along with dozens of optical telescopes, scientists refined Apophis's orbital path year after year. Each new observation helped paint a clearer picture. NASA officially ruled out an Earth impact for 2029. Further observations also eliminated the possibilities for 2036 and 2068. The threat had passed at least for the next 100 years. But Apophis's legacy as the asteroid that frightened the world was already sealed. So if it won't hit us, why should we still care about Apophis? Because its 2029 flyby offers something rare and scientifically golden, an up close real-time look at a large asteroid passing within the gravitational influence of our planet. It's like a cosmic open lab. During the flyby, Apophis will experience what's called tidal stretching. Earth's gravity may alter the asteroid's shape, rotation, and even surface structure. Scientists will monitor these effects closely, so it could offer insight into how to deflect future threats, and how asteroids behave under extreme gravitational stress. Some space agencies are even considering sending spacecraft to study Apophis up close. Concepts have been proposed for orbiters, flybys, and landers. Observing Apophis could improve our understanding of how asteroids are structured and how they respond to gravitational interactions. This matters because future asteroid deflection strategies, like kinetic impactors or gravity tractors, depend on understanding how these space rocks behave. Apophis may not destroy us, but it might help us prevent a future asteroid from doing so. Had Apophis actually hit Earth, the devastation would have been immense. Scientists estimate that the energy released would have equaled about 1,200 megatons of TNT. That's over 80,000 times the power of the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. It could level a region the size of France, or create tsunami waves if it struck an ocean. The impact wouldn't cause a mass extinction, but it could cause global ripple effects disrupting climate, economies, and ecosystems. It's a chilling reminder that even modest-sized asteroids can pose serious threats to civilization. Fortunately, that scenario is no longer on the table. 
but the story of Apophis highlights the importance of planetary defense. Our technology has improved, but our planet remains vulnerable. The key is preparation and data. Apophis also teaches us humility. We are small compared to the cosmos. Every day Earth flies through a shooting gallery of debris most, of it harmless, but not all. Events like the 2013 Selyabinsk airburst in Russia show us how even smaller objects can cause injuries, property damage, and panic. So when Apophis zooms by in 2029, visible to the naked eye like a fast-moving star across the sky, it won't be just a spectacle. It will be a symbol of what science can do, how observation, math, and collaboration can steer us away from fear and toward understanding. It will also be a test. How prepared are we to respond if another Apophis ever shows up? Will we have the tools to detect it early, to deflect it? Or will we face a future threat the same way we faced Apophis in 2004, surprised, worried, and unsure? Apophis may be safe for now, but the search continues. <laughs> Thousands of near-Earth asteroids remain untracked. <sighs> Some move faster, and not all will give us 25 years of warning. The lesson of Apophis isn't just about one asteroid. It's about building a future where we aren't caught off guard again. Where science gives us the power to protect this fragile blue, call home, from the chaos that still lingers in the dark between the stars. So when April 13th, 2029 arrives, take a moment, step outside, look up. That moving point of light in the sky, that's Apophis once feared, now famous, a reminder of how close we came and how far we've come.